January 11, 1976. It's a timestamp from a journal nearly 50 years old. I've started reading them chronologically now, and it's, it's a whole different experience. Like, I'm living in, <laughs> I'm in my 70s living in the 70s. And this mom and her daughter are sharing the contents of nearly 50 diaries with us in a podcast. I was so concerned about the way I looked that I missed a step and almost fell flat on my face. <laughs> That's at the core of it, I think. We just like to laugh and tell stories. <laughs> My Mother's Diaries was created by Hilary Eyestone and her mother, Lynn Bonsey. For years, I would joke with her that I couldn't wait to exploit her on the internet <laughs> because she's so funny. Started like going, oh, 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 like that. What? <laughs> As its name implies, the episodes feature entries from Lynn's diary. Today, they're recording the first episode of this season. The topic, dating. This guy called me, asked me for a date, and I kept saying no, no, no. But others have ranged from bras to personal quirks to beauty pageants. And then she comes out as a cave woman with a bone in her mouth. Are there any topics off limits? Do you talk about sex? That's a re really good question. We, I wouldn't say go too far into that, but we're not, we don't stray away from it. Like if it comes up, right, we right. feel comfortable talking about it if, if it comes up. Lynn, a writing teacher for more than 40 years, says she's always known the importance of putting a pen to paper. The stories, though, are just part of it because it's really what they bring out in this mom and daughter that is so endearing. The laughter and the joy they seem to find in one another. An opportunity that eludes so many of us. The chance for a daughter to see her mother as a girl. I'm just really getting to know a younger version of her through this, which has been really cool, honestly. And listeners seem to think so too. Hillary and Lynn enjoy the feedback they get from their fans, who also love their TikToks. Not a lot of moms would do this or al allow their children to post their innermost thoughts on the internet. So. <laughs> a place where traditional storytelling gets a new life, a generational treasure trove of experience that will live on, especially as Hillary thinks about starting a family. And I hope that when I have a daughter, she can see that and maybe even see that through old videos of us yeah. together. Fair to say, not even Lynn could predict that a 59 cent notebook would become so priceless. The most important thing is we, we recognize our relationship is the most important thing. Yeah. And um, so everything else is secondary, but yeah, it's been very, it's been very enriching and wonderful. I I'm so too. happy I don't have recordings like that of me talking to my high school boyfriend. <laughs> ooh, ooh. It makes me cringe just thinking about it. For Total Maine, I'm Megan Torgerson.